Hey guys, welcome to Philippine Annex. My name is George. Welcome to my channel. Um, right now we're going to be doing the Grow Your YouTube With Us series. So, question of the day basically is Is 4K necessary? Is it? Well, the answer is no. Oh, wait. Hold on. As you can see, we started filming our videos in 4K. And that's, of course, to give you guys a, a better quality image. But also, I do not neglect the audio. Now, whether you want 4K or not for your videos, that's, that's what this video is about. But never, never, ever discount your audio. Audio is extremely important. It's something that you can have... 360p or even 244p if your audio is clear that's what matters i mean that's that's where podcasts come from so never never discount your audio like i said um i have a new road powered mic right now to give you guys deliver you guys a better audio now on to the topic now is 4k necessary well here's the thing about 4k 4K, first off, uses boatloads of data. So that's a bad thing for you because any recording device that you have, well, it's going to be full real fast. Like, um, I burned through 128 gigs literally in a day. So, <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's a lot of work. That's a lot of footwork there. Um, so you have a lot of data. So... That's number one. Does it mean that your your device can shoot 4K? It doesn't mean you're 4K ready. Also, let's say your device can can shoot 4K at a, a good amount of time, which some older phones do. You know, Samsung Galaxy Note 4, Samsung Galaxy S10s. They do great 4K video. They actually last very long. Now, my question is: Have you tried editing 4K? In those devices if you're watching this video probably not because even though the device can shoot and handle and record 4k well editing is a different story as every youtuber knows editing is life that's nine-tenths of uh, like in YouTube Editing is nine-tenths of the law, basically, really. It is. So, and the reason, these, these are the cons of 4K. Like I said, they're cons. It's not the 4K itself, but I'm talking about, is the world ready for 4K? Most, most, mostly no. Most people, although most people I know have 4K TV, I do know a lot of people who don't have 4K. So, for the most part, even if your content is 4K, I would say probably 80% of your viewers don't have it. Um, let's say I have a $500 budget, right, for a camera or a video, video camera. For $500, I could get this camera for 26 megapixels. And this other camera has 40 megapixels. And you're like, well, that's a better deal, right? It has more megapixels or, well, like I said, odds are the real photographer will even will just hear the brands and hear the, the numbers you throw at them and be like, nah, pick the 26, dude. Because reality is, and again, most photographers and most videographers will agree to this. It's just a number. Um, there is a science backing this, and I'm not going to bore you with all the the real science, you know, the size of the CMOS sensor, your Carl Zeiss lens is not the same as your Sony lens. There's, there's a lot. But any photographer, real photographer and real videographer will tell you, these are just numbers. They don't mean anything. And it's the quality that matters. Um, right now, like say, I'm, I am shooting 4K. I would say this quality would be on the probably below average grade but I use 
this setup because one is convenient for me. I could just be anywhere, pop up, record, done. No apps, no nothing. Um, now, if you want to see examples of good non 4K YouTubers, and I will name them because I'm not disparaging them by all means. They're actually, um, well, one of them is, is Marcus Picks. Um, he's a professional, you name it, he's done it. Movies, films, photography, you name it. This guy's got it all. But what he really has is knowledge. And he even tell you, it's just a number. It's all about the lens, all about the SEMA sensor. The, you can have, like I said, a hundred, like you can even say 8K, but that's another thing. <laughs> to make things more complicated, um, there's something what I call pseudo 4K, which means it's not really 4K, it's just doubling it. So you have to watch out for that too. <laughs> more on that later. Now, Marcus Picks uses um, his favorite is a Samsung NX500. Um, it's a great camera. I've actually used one a long time ago. Now, he can show you a 1080. Actually, Marcus Pix shoots in 1080. If you look at all his videos, I don't think I've ever seen any 4K videos of him. But you can stand and stare at the TV screen all you want. It looks 4K. In fact, he even has a side by side comparison of 6K versus 1080p. And it's just mind blowing. Okay, and then the other guy, um, you guys want to might want to check out his video. Like, um, he uses a Sony FDR action cam, action cam, mind you. Um, it's a now the Sony FDR is another great. It's a great, great, great camera. It's like I want to find an excuse to buy this thing. Um, the reason why I don't buy it, one, is an action cam. Um, and as an action cam, it's not the most friendliest action cam because it's about the size of a small camcorder and shape, which makes it completely unfriendly in the action cam world, meaning I have to buy a special, special rack to put it on my helmet. I need to get a special rack to basically wear it. Um, you have to buy a lot of special things like and they're expensive all the parts all the accessories are expensive they're not your standard it's Sony I mean it's Sony so it's it's actually a wonderful camera great camera great audio crystal crystal clear picture you would swear it's 4k um, but of course um, it's still stuff like all cameras they suffer from night shots, anything when, when the light starts going dim, it doesn't matter how good of a camera you are unless it has infrared or something like that, it's not going to perform well in darkness or it'll start pixelating when it starts becoming dusk of some sort. So yeah, um, so bottom line, is 4K necessary? The answer is no. Um, if you have a good 1080 camera, 1080p camera, it's pretty much just as good as 4K if you have the right device. Um, and again, you can have same same way. You can have a 4K device that has a quality of 720p. And if you ask me, like, how is that possible? It's 4K. That's the point. Um, it doesn't mean you put like. Um, it's kind of like the best way to explain it like not all six cylinder engines are the same you know I mean everybody will agree to that not all six cylinder engines are the same not all eight cylinder engines are the same some are faster bigger and better than others some are slower than others some are you know crappier it's a whole science to it same thing with cameras um, like I said I hate to say this, but it's really just a number, guys. It's all about the lens, all about the stimulus. It's basically the overall package of the camera. You know, like I said, like Sony F, the Sony FDR. I swear, I really want one, but I can't justify 
because it just won't work for me. And that's another thing. Will 4K work for you? Will it, is it more of a hindrance? Um, as me and my wife are figuring out right now, there's an insane amount of file and the bigger the file, the longer the processing. And the bigger the file, the more hard drives and more SD cards you have to buy. So, again, don't worry about 4K for now. Unless you're really ready, then go for it. Um, and you'll know when it's time, anyway. Then you'll have the right phone, you'll have the right laptop, you'll have the right apps, because not all apps are 4K friendly yet. Um, but like I said, whatever you do, whether you decide to go full 4K or not, never, ever, ever discount your audio. Audio comes first. Okay? So, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Thank you. God bless.